Have you had this problem where you have a set of keys for your car, but nothing works the ignition lock? But of course, it works your ignition. So, what do you do when you when your fob goes dead? Well, I got a solution for you. Stay tuned. So I bought this uh, match set from eBay. One key came with the door lock and the ignition lock cylinder. And I'm going to break this up into two videos. One will be, this one I'm going to do the ignition lock cylinder. And the next one I will do this one. Alright, so I have the door panel removed and check out my video on how to do that and what I did here is I've only peeled this back halfway I didn't want to take the whole thing off so what I'm gonna do is fold it over and I'm gonna get some masking tape I should really put this camera on the tripod anyways that won't break it and now what you're going to find, you're going to want to pluck this rubber piece off. And you just kind of leave it. And you're going to notice inside there, I'm going to put the light in there. See those two bolts? Those are going to need to come out. They're 10 millimeter. And there's one right there in the front. Those are going to have to come out. And then you have... There's a clip on that door lock. Where is it? Okay, so there's one down here. That right there needs to come off. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna take that one off the lock right now. There's one, you can see that orange tab there. I'm gonna see if I can finagle it out with that still on. It's gonna have to come off anyway because we're changing the lock cylinder. But that's how we're going to proceed. For this first one, you just need the short. Now the camera's not showing where I'm... Let me see if I can get that in there. Tilt this up. There we go. That is the bolt I'm going for right there. I think I have it loosened enough to spin it out my hand. There it is. Okay. Now. two in there, I can't really see it from here. There we go, there they are. So I'm gonna pop the extension on my ratchet here. And feel with my other hand, make sure I'm on there. I think this one's loose already. Yeah, this one came loose right away. I have my other hand in here guiding it so it doesn't uh, drop down in the door. Yep, okay, I got it. All right, there's that one. Let's see, oh, the door moved a little bit here. Oh, there it is, up here. You can see it up here. I might need a swivel on this one. Um. Oh no, I can get to it. No, no need for a swivel. Spin it. Okay, hold on to it. Those are out. 
cannot get this thing up in there, but I'm just going to show you how this sits. The rod snaps into this piece, and this piece is orange on the other one. So I think you got to try to depress these tabs down and snap it out. I think I'm going to try getting it from the, the bottom first. I can't, for the life of me, get this camera on the damn thing. That right, that orange thing right there. Focus on it. <laughs> Screen says move back to improve focus. That little orange thing there, I'm gonna disengage that. All right, I was completely wrong about that one thing I was just focusing on. That's for the, the door release. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, pop this out. Had it, I was pressing on this tab, trying not to break it. Okay, ah, there we go. So, come on, should come on. So anyways, on the front, there's a little tab you press in to get that to pop out. Back here, I still don't have any wiggle room to pop this rod loose. No, nope, still not happening. I thought maybe I'd give myself some more clearance. So like I was saying before, about popping that rod off of the lock cylinder. I just reached in there with a screwdriver, popped the damn thing off of it. And now, this one, come on, I got the other side off, no problem. This rod doesn't have anything to, okay. All right, let's see that, this just falls right out. And we'll go back in and snap that back in. And right now, I'm not removing this door handle, but if you did, see how this, this rod hooks on there, and right here you can just twist it off, down and off, but I'm keeping it there because I'm uh, keeping this connected. So, let me grab the new one. Put this back the way it was. And finagle it into the door. You see how those two holes line up there? Carefully get this back down in there. And then I'll go back in the door and pop that pop that rod back on there. Snap that back in the front. Okay, now we're back. I was hoping maybe I could peek, peer through that hole. Oh, maybe I'll take the camera off the tripod and see if I can get it in there farther. Uh, there, that little, so you know I can't hold this here and record it, but that little hook, we're going to swing it around and snap it back into those fingers there. That's what we want to do. Man, I've made a lot of corrections thusly in this video, I should just scrap it and start over. Uh, what I'm really going to do is, uh, I'm going to attach this door handle, reattach it before I snap that lock rod in there, it'll make it easier. This will be stationary. You don't want to torque them too tight. You don't want to strip out the little uh, thread 
whatever you want to call them, nut certs. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this on here, guide it back through, making sure that I don't lose this thing down in the door. Yep, it's off. Pushing this in on the front. That's one. Just gonna get it a little snug it just a little bit. Snap that rod back in there. Right, now, as you can see, I'm trying to, there we go, we're focused. Oh, come on, go in there. So we can get a good damn camera angle. Okay, see, now we're, we're on. All right, so now, before buttoning up the door, what I want to do, oh, put that rubber grommet back. I'm going to, Make sure I can open the door. Okay, now I'm gonna see if it locks. All right, I said put that grommet back. And there you have it. Now, go watch my video on how to put the door panel back together. Alright everyone, as we close this video out, I want to thank you for subscribing. Thank you for checking out my channel. Um, what I want you to do is go over, if you're on mobile, click the little uh, down arrow in the uh, video title. I have two links in the description box. Um, I'm giving away a catch can and I'm giving away a switchblade slash flip key. Uh, and all you gotta do to enter is just uh, post a comment in either video. So check them out. Uh, I think I'm gonna be doing the drawing on like February 1st, it's a Monday. That's what I'm gonna, I'll probably do the drawing earlier that day, put the video together and then post up the winners. I'll disable the comments on the on the two videos when when I'm done doing the drawing. So anyways, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for supporting the channel. By subscribing, give me a thumbs up. And uh, go enter in the uh, giveaways. Doing it for uh, my thousand, thousand subscribers. So thanks for checking out my channel. We'll see you, we'll see you soon.